I'm Johnny Vegas, and you're listening to Cop Talk with Dunk. And all you other Liverpool sites, just stop embarrassing yourself, all right? Yo, what up? This your boy Smooth, straight from New York. You're listening to Cop Talk Podcast. Remember this, you never walk alone, but if you fuck with us, you walk with a limp. All right, guys, how's it going? It is a Thursday, the 18th of May, 2023, and you're listening to the Cop Talk Podcast in association with Football Club Shares. Dot com where you can buy real shares in real football clubs. That's right. Yeah, you fucking can. And I get a kickback from it as well. So go and get 20 quid's worth of shares in Juventus, for example. And then I get like a bit of beer money. You know what I'm saying? Footballclubshares.com is uh, is my website, but the theme's not working on it at the moment. It doesn't look as like it should do, but uh, it's a good little uh, thing. I, I like buying shares in, in football clubs. I do it for a laugh. Do you know what I mean? And you have got the money in it, but... I do it with like like you would a bet like so if you're gonna have a bet on a game of football I do that and think well the worst case I don't get my money back so it's not financial advice uh, basically what I'm saying but yeah footballclubshares.com and it just gives me an interest in uh, in Serie A for example which I do like I like that the so how are you doing guys you are I thought we'd do a podcast I don't think there's much happening at the moment to be honest with you um, I have been doing the live streams every weekday afternoon at three o'clock UK so there will be one this afternoon if you want to come along. And that's a good way of catching up on what's happened during the day, uh, if if you fancy it, all right? And uh, don't forget, Saturday, Saturday night, Steam in returns, uh, streaming, sorry, 6.30 p.m. UK this Saturday. Uh, I know that's early, but I don't want to finish at 6 in the morning, you know? So if we start at 6.30, it'll probably be 3 or 4, all right? So uh, try and get in, try and get in early. Uh, we'll talk about the football early on, and uh, then it just goes silly. We'll be doing a quiz uh, Shauna's world famous uh, quiz, uh, and overall just having a good laugh, and it's great for the Cop Talk community to come together. So I, I don't know where to start uh, with things really, so I'm just going to open a few uh, tabs. Uh, you know, Manchester City have progressed, as we know, from the Champions League last night. Uh, it's a bit, I'll be honest, a bit disheartening. You know, I didn't want them to win. I don't want them to to win any European you know trophies or anything like that. Um, it's it, it's not what I. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just checking my messages. Uh, it, it's it's not what I want to see, you know. And it's just a reminder uh, that we're not competing for that at the moment. So, but we won't focus on that too much. I did a video on uh, on CopTalk.tv about it today. If you want to go and take a nosy, uh, Manchester United linked with Mane move. I mean, this is the dreadful uh, the suggestion that is uh, Sky Germany. Uh, he's obviously expected to be on his way from Bayern. and things have not worked out there. Have you noticed how many Liverpool players leave Liverpool? How many players leave Liverpool? That's probably a better way of saying it. And then the career's bombed. They don't, there's not many, is there, that go on that, that go, oh, it's worked out really well. Do you think that? Or is that my like my bias and protection of Liverpool? You know, if you don't want to play for us, go fuck it. But do you, what do you think? I don't know. Um, I'd be absolutely heartbroken if Mane went there. I really would. I don't think he'd do it, but he's a ruthless little fucker. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, you've seen some links to do with uh, Atalanta midfielder Tion Coop Miners uh, surfacing. I had a lot of questions about that yesterday. Uh, Juventus and Napoli, they're said to be interested. Man United are said to be ready as well to step forward, it says. And Liverpool have uh, been mooted with him. Now, what I would say to you, right, is... I don't know if you if you follow my videos closely, if you've got the time to or not, but I'll try and summarise what I said yesterday. I think the McAllister one at the moment, I'm kind of quite calm with that. I'm not worried too much about that. The Ugarte one seems to have gone very quiet. And I know that Liverpool, you know, have been warned off a little bit, uh, you know, with threats of being reported for the way that they've approached. And that could be a reason why it's gone quiet. I'm not so sure, though. And I just have a little hunch that that one might just drop away. And that we might see something, uh, I think I said this yesterday, I said maybe later in the week or soon, we might see a new link, you know, come into play, but quite heavily. When I say a new link, we get linked with new players every day. But I mean like something that sounds very strong. Or we might see an existing link significantly increase, increase sorry, in chatter. So an example of that would be Casado, for example. Tielemans, he was another one, right? These kind of players have been linked with us for a long time. And I wouldn't be surprised if Casado, for example, was boom, suddenly like this weekend or 
today, tomorrow, next week, we're suddenly talking about him being a possible solution because I think Liverpool are going to wait, you know, but they can't wait forever on some things. The Ugate one, you know, it could be guys that's a better at solutions become available, you know, to Liverpool. And maybe that might not just mean a better player, but it might be a better financial situation. So I, I, I'm basing this not on anything, by the way, as well. So no one said this to me. These are just little, like, I like to li give a little daily vibe of how I feel about things uh, and uh, because things can change, right? So if someone watched a video of mine last week, I was saying I'm quite upbeat and confident about uh, Ugarte and McAllister. It sounds like it's going to plan. Well, I've changed my mind a little bit and that's allowed. Uh, so I think it's important every time you touch on these players, you know, to say, this is how I currently feel. So anyway, that is uh, Coop Miners linked with us again, and uh, I, I I haven't heard anything say anything that I you know that I trust mentioned that, but it doesn't mean that it's not true. So you just got to keep an eye on it. Uh, Jurgen Klopp wants Nicolo Barella. Uh, that is according to Interlive. I think someone came brought this to my attention yesterday in the live on the live stream, saying, "Oh, the the echo was saying this." And I had to point out it wasn't the Echo saying that. The Echo was saying what Interlive uh, was saying, which is a website uh, in Italy. And um, it, it's just one of those very speculative reports. And there's a bit of a difference between, you know, if, if James Pierce had wrote in an article, you know, this, you know, reports from Interlive suggest blah, blah, blah. Some people will go around and say, have you seen what James Pierce is claiming? Now, what James Pierce is claiming and what, James Pierce is just telling you what's being reported somewhere are completely two different things. And it's very important that when someone makes a claim uh, that you investigate it yourself, because if we'd have just gone by, oh, right, okay, so the, the Echo, I was going to say the Fenway Echo, uh, are reporting that, you might think, oh, there might be something in that. But they weren't. They were saying that uh, Interlive uh, were mentioning that. So um, just worth bearing in mind uh what else can i bring to you um do, do, do. Well, obviously we had the departures that were confirmed yesterday you know james milner Firmino, obviously uh nabby cater the ox uh, i don't think any decisions being made without regarding adrian or adrian whatever you want to call uh, call him um no surprises anyway guys you know uh contracts are expiring uh, and uh, Jurgen Klopp is looking to, uh, you know, upgrade his squad. Upgrade his squad. It'd be sad to see Bobby go. Uh, James Milner as well, of course. Uh, Naby Keita, waste of space in my opinion. Um, just a total disappointment, as is, was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. They might be nice people, but you're not telling me that any of us can go, oh, we're really going to miss them, you know. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, by Leverkusen manager Xabi Alonso, he's withdrawn his name from consideration for the uh, managerial position at Tottenham. Uh, he uh, he was co he commented about this. He said, "I'm happy here with the team and the club. I'm not worried about my future." Uh, if he was asked if he would still be a coach at least until 2024, where he is, he said, "That's correct. I think he's a man of his word. I think he'll stay where he is, and I hope he does." Former Liverpool winger uh, Shakiri. Uh, he's the highest played player in America's MLS. Uh, he plays for Chicago Fire. I went and saw him play out there last year. Uh, and he earned £6.55 million uh, during his first season. Can you believe that? Um, good little player. Um, wasn't used as much as I'd like to have seen him at Liverpool. I uh, did see him out there. I think he scored a penalty when I was there. But um, Anyway... Uh, Real Madrid want Bellingham. Here we go. More shy. Uh, they want to sign uh, Real Madrid. Want to sign Jude Bellingham, Kylian Mbappe, and Alfonso Davies this summer. Uh, that's according to Sky Sports. I think uh, other players um, are it's said to be on the, the, the radar. Of Real Madrid, but you know, just let's just focus on those two: Bellingham and Mbappe. I mean, like you think about that and you think, really, would they sign both of them? Do you know what I mean? Uh, but then, you know, the, my answer to that would be it's Real Madrid, they can do what they want, they do what they want, they make their own rules. Um, you know, dream players, who knows what will happen. Keep an eye on PSG uh, for sure. And, you know, you might see Mo Salah linked with PSG. I, I keep thinking, will he ever be linked with Real Madrid? Uh, so it's important to see what happens with their pursuit of Bellingham and Mbappe. I think most people expect Bellingham to go to Real Madrid now. Mbappe, well, that's something else. 
you know. Um, so we'll just we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Wolves, uh, there was reports yesterday that they agreed to sell 14-year-old academy defender Harvey Owen to Liverpool for 800 grand. That's according to the Shropshire Star, or the Shropshire Star, uh, who said that he's set to join Liverpool's academy after the two clubs reached an agreement over a fee. And it says that the um, the fee is higher than any compensation they would have received if the deal uh, had gone to a tribunal. So that's basically where we're at at the moment. I'm sure there'll be more speculation uh, as the day rumbles on, but you know, I will be live at 3 o'clock this afternoon if you come along to CopTalk.tv. The Telegraph, Arsenal are preparing a club record £92 million offer for West Ham's 24-year-old England midfielder Declan Rice. Bayern Munich are also interested in him, uh, apparently, according to the Mirror. Talk Sports say that Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta is considering signing Manchester City's 28-year-old Portugal defender Cancelo, who is on loan at Bayern Munich, but the Gunners fear City will be reluctant to do business with them this summer. The Telegraph say PSG want Man City's Portugal midfielder Bernardo Silva, 28, for £70 million after failing to sign him last summer. The Telegraph also say Chelsea's talks with 30-year-old Belgium striker Romelu Lukaku about his future will be delayed until after Inter Milan, where he's on loan, play City in the Champions League final on the 10th of June. The Mirror say that Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp offered 37-year-old English midfielder James Milner uh, a coaching role. Il Matino, uh, Italy. Manchester United have agreed personal terms with Napoli's 26-year-old South Korea defender Kim Min Jae. 90 min. Arsenal's 24-year-old Norway midfielder Martin Odegaard, whose contract runs out in 2025, is set to sign a new deal. Sky Sports, Bayer Leverkusen manager Xabi Alonso says he will still be in charge next season, despite being linked with Tottenham, uh, as we've just discussed. The Express, Arsenal midfielder Albert Sambi Lokonga, 23, could move to Burnley to play under manager Vincent Kompany, who's reached, uh, who coached sorry, the Belgian at Anderlecht. Talk Sports say uh, they're talking about Zaha uh, at Palace. They're saying that the 30-year-old Ivory Coast forward, whose contract expires in the summer, is considering staying at Sellers Park. The Express have got Barcelona making a fresh attempt to sign Real Sociedad and Spain midfielder Martin Zubamendi, 24, this summer after Arsenal failed with a £53 million bid in January. Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah, Senegal forward Sadio Mane, 31, wants to stay at Bayern Munich despite his bust up with teammate. Leroy Sane, is it? I never know how to pronounce his name. Saying Sane, I don't fucking know. In April, that's according to Romano. Do you know? Did you see what he said yesterday about McAllister? He said Liverpool have offered him an important contract. It's fucking important. Are all contracts important? Someone said, yeah, but that's because he doesn't speak English, blah, blah. No, nah, fuck off, man. He uses these terms every day of his fucking life, every hour. There'll be a new update today saying uh, Liverpool uh, have submitted a contract offer in an envelope to Alexis McAllister. You watch. The Times, former Bayern Munich manager Julian Nagelsmann was Chelsea's first choice to replace Graham Potter. Foot Mercato, this is France. Uh, they're saying that Nice, or Nice, or whatever you want to call them, or our own by British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos group have met with Potter to discuss appointing him manager. Le Quip, also obviously France, say Nance won former Crystal manager Patrick Vieira, if they avoid relegation. The Times says Swansea City manager Russell Martin is one of the candidates to take over at Southampton, who have been relegated from the Premier League this season. And finally, the Mail, Barcelona director of football Matteo Alemani is set to stay after changing his mind on a move to Aston Villa. No official news yet for Liverpool on the sporting director front. I've got bad vibes about it. I know everyone deserves a chance. Uh, but uh, it just doesn't fill me with a lot of um, optimism, to be honest with you. I hope I am wrong. I have an email from Paul MC, who is a podcast patron, I will have you know, and a very nice man too. He says, morning, Dunk. Now, he sent this nearly a week ago. Don't forget, I've been away. Uh, he says, was listening to yesterday's podcast and a few things just don't stack up with the new imminent appointment of Julian Ward's replacement. I can't but think the timing is very, very strange. A key part of the role is transfers and taking such an important figure into the fold a few weeks before the window opens just doesn't make sense. It's like not uh, appointing a manager until the first game of the season. They would have missed the most important part of the process, like a manager missing pre-season. Also, with the links to Tushmany, I don't know how to pronounce his name, or however you spell his name, he said, the lad uh, Madrid nicked from us at the 11th hour last year. Now linked makes a lot of sense if they are about to sign Bellingham. Well, you know... We went all in for him 
you know, uh, and it was a, a, a big mistake, you know, to focus all that attention on him. I don't think, you know, within a year, you suddenly just sudden, you know, end interest, uh, you know, in a player that you, you, you've got so, so much interest in. So I absolutely would keep an eye on the reports surrounding him. Uh, and Paul goes on to say, we do know that Klopp really likes him uh, and will uh, will not, I think that means hesitate to buy a midfielder if, and will not to buy a midfielder if it wasn't the right one. Just, I don't understand that bit, Paul. I do apologise. But really likes him. Uh, and he will, I think that means will not buy a midfielder if it wasn't the right one. Maybe the reason behind pulling out of Bellingham is we've been uh, tapped to say this lad, Tushimeni or whatever he's called, is now available again. So the decision was made to get him and one or the other rather than Bellingham. Klopp did what this lad uh, Klopp did want this lad over Bellingham last summer. Again, love to know your thoughts, Paul MC. Uh, yeah, thanks for the email, Paul. I, I really do appreciate you've been a long-time supporter of mine, and I don't forget these things, so let's uh, big you up for that straight away. I do really appreciate the support and the time you've taken in to email us. Um, yeah, I mean, that kid at Real Madrid, you know, like I say, like you don't just suddenly, you don't have, it wasn't a passing interest. There was a lot of effort put into that. And if that player becomes available, you know, if the numbers are right, then you absolutely, uh, you know, dive in, I think. And, you know, I've just got this little vibe that maybe, you know, that could be something that we might suddenly see. I feel like over the next week or next few days, I don't know, it, just a hunch, it's intuition. I am not basing this on, like, anyone saying anything. I just feel like that Ugarte has maybe died off a little bit and that we might just see, like, a new name, like, from nowhere or an old name like this suddenly get a lot of traction. So stay alert guys Paul I love you bro uh, and I'm so very grateful for the support that you give me on the podcast and guys you know what I really do mean that you know I'm not flanneling anybody uh, I really do mean it when um, when I talk about uh, the people that support me and I'm going to give a shout out to all of them right now well not all of them because there's some of you are on the um, or some of them are on the old legacy tier that is no longer available but they're clinging on uh, it was a tier I introduced I don't know if it was this year or last year but just to try and help people a little bit, you know. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to the squad, the people that make this podcast possible. Uh, you can become a member of the squad by going to www.coptalkpodcast.com and for the cost of a coffee once a month, and that's a Spanish coffee, I'll have you know, not a London coffee price. Uh, you, can, you can become a supporter of the podcast. You get all the adverts removed. You can listen to the private episodes and basically, you know, sleep at night knowing that you're supporting me. How nice is that? Let's give a shout out. Two, where shall we start? Let's start with the supporters. We've got Liam Buckland, James Braid, and Jack Hughes. Uh, we've got Wayne Brown, Tom Brown, TG, Simon Digweed, Matt Bingley, Jimmy Negret, Jamie motherfucking Gilmore. We've got Harry, we've got Hamza, we've got Glyn Taylor, we've got Clint, and we've got Aaron as well. Uh, we then have what we call our legends. Uh, did I mention Craig Alford before? I maybe did. I don't know if I did that by mistake, but Craig Alford is, uh, is actually a legend, just to have you know. Uh, so we've got the legends, Craig Alford, uh, Tyler Dean Williams, Paul MC, Matt Meeker, James Lee, Jack Wood, Jack Rudgley, Big Wave Dave, and Andrew Evans. Uh, and also we have what's called our royalty, which is Michael Couchman, David Sutcliffe, and Adam Naylor. Adam Naylor's got a great YouTube channel. Go and check him out. Adam, N-A-Y-L-O-R, all about LFC. And he is the only uh, Liverpool FC content creator that I've got time for. So I'm not being disrespectful if you do anything. Maybe I don't know about you, but uh, Adam, I, I like his way of thinking, uh, and I often watch his content. And it sometimes it, you know, just I think oh, he's, he's made a good point there. So um, we have, uh, I have emails I need to deal with. Someone sent me an email uh, the other day. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read this out because it went to my private email address, dunkercoptalk.com. Uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm sure he's uh, he's listening. He said, I went to listen to your podcast, and to my disappointment, you had the knuckleheads, Card Sins, I guess that means Kardashians, um, Card Sins being advertised for their new show. I have to say, I felt really let down here in this dunk. Just had to expect this, express this dunk. I couldn't believe my ears. I love listening to your podcast, but he doesn't like the advert. Well, listen, there's a simple solution. Become a patron and you never hear an advert again. There you go. There you go, mate. Uh, but no jokes apart, um, the advertising, I have no idea what adverts play on the uh, on the episodes. I don't have a say in any of that. Uh, they're, they're, they're automatic based on where you live in the world. So if I was to listen to the podcast here, I'll no doubt have a Spanish 
uh, language uh, podcast. It's certainly different in the US uh, and uh, all around the world. So I do apologize, my friend. Uh, so uh, what have we got to talk about? I think that's it. Let's just have a quick refresh, see if there's anything else. I am trying to get podcast episodes out to you guys. It's exceptionally difficult at the moment because uh, I think most of the stuff that we're seeing every day is regurgitated. Even, you know, uh, Fabrizio Romano is just adding a different bit every day. Uh, and I think we've just got to be patient until we've got something uh, worth talking about. So uh, that's it for today. Please email podcast at coptalk.com if you've got anything you want to get off your chest. Uh, or go to coptalkpodcast.com and use the uh, the contact form. I really, really do appreciate the support that the patrons give me, uh, and obviously the members as well that are out there on my Cop Talk TV channel members. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not survive. And that's not like even me joking, all right? That's, you know, that's not me giving you any flannel. You know, this is how I pay my bills, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys, and you're a very, very, very special part of my life. Uh, and when I drop that lottery... I'm fucking telling you, uh, you'll be you'll be looked after. If I get the big lottery, I can't do it if I get a popsy little one. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, is there anything that I can mention to you just to pan this out a little bit longer? Uh, we have. Uh, I'm not gonna. There's, there's there's some really shocking websites out there today, guys. You know, Nighty Min, Court Offside, uh, Football Inside. There's another one, Transfers.com, I think it is, or. Uh, I don't really know what the website is. Footballtransfers.com. Right, please don't get sucked in by these. Uh, I don't like mentioning names on here. If you uh, follow Cop Talk TV, I did a video maybe last week, um, a private one, you know, for members and also VIP members, which touched on some of these jokers that, that I think are deliberate. Mm, I don't know if they're deliberately misleading people. I think they are actually, but I can't prove it. So. Uh, I, I just think that there's a bit of a monopoly going on with this, uh, with like a little group uh, on social media. Uh, and it's not very helpful to people like me and you uh, that really just want to know about the credible stuff, you know. So, But that's good because it keeps me on my toes and, uh, and I have to uh, think about these things uh, for you. So uh, there are some absolute uh, jokers out there. Anyone that says... Another source tells me, or I'm just off the phone to someone in Portugal when, you know, they're just sat in the living room at home, you know, like looking like they haven't had a shower for a month is, is just beyond me. But there you go. Anyway, so uh, hope you're all OK. Hope you enjoyed uh, the podcast. I intend to be back here with you tomorrow. Uh, if you email me podcast at coptalk.com, that helps because it, it pans the episodes out a little further uh, and uh I will uh, be here with you in the morning all being well. Don't forget, 3 o'clock this afternoon for a live stream at Cop Talk TV and uh, tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. And Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. All right? Even if you can only pop in for two minutes uh, on any of those streams, please do. It, it makes, you know, it puts a smile on my face to see you all. Uh, and I really look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Thank you very much for supporting the podcast. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you're not in a position to support the podcast by, you know, becoming a patron, then at least send an email in because that costs you nothing. All right, guys, take care. Speak to you real soon. Hooray.